If you've never created an ad in Facebook Ads Manager, it may not be as complicated as you think. I'm going to show you today how you can create a simple targeted ad to get more likes to your Facebook page. And you'll also pick up a few tips along the way. So log into Facebook and we'll get started. On your left hand toolbar, there should be something here that says Ads Manager. Don't worry if that's not there just yet. You can access it from your Facebook page and from the Insights page on your Facebook page if it's not here yet. Once you've created an ad, it will appear. Now click on Create an Ad and decide what sort of ad you want to create. We're going to create a page likes ad today. It's a nice easy one to start with, but I will be covering some of these others in future video casts. So firstly you have to choose which page you want to create the ad for. I'm going for We Teach Social, which is our training company. Now Facebook gives you the option to upload additional images. It will bring in your cover image for your page, but I highly recommend adding at least three images because Facebook will try out all of these ads, it will split test them, and it will promote the one that gets the best response. So it's a good idea to have a couple of images in there. If you don't have any of your own images, you can use stock images that Facebook provides through Shutterstock. And you just click on Find Images here, and you can do a search at the top, say for Facebook. And here it brings me up a whole lot of images that I can use for free in my adverts. So now we get on to creating your advert. The first thing you want to do is come up with a really good snappy headline, something that will really draw your audience in. We're going to be promoting a contest on our Facebook page when I set this ad up, so I'm just going to put that in. And you can see that's going to be far more compelling than just the name of my business page that was there before. The next section is your text, that's the main body of text, you can see where it appears here on the ad on the right hand side. So again, you need that to be snappy and compelling, and it's a good idea to include something there that will appeal to the people that you're targeting. So we're targeting small business owners on Facebook, so I've created some text specifically to target those. So I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to paste in the text that I made earlier. Below this is sponsored story, help people discover your business through their friends. I'm going to uncheck that box, and if you want to know why I've unchecked that box, if you read the accompanying blog post, you'll find a link below this video. Now click on show advanced options, because there's some really nice things here. We're actually going to be linking to a competition page that we have on Facebook, so from this drop down menu, I can choose the tab on my Facebook page that the advert will link to. So if somebody clicks on the advert, it will bring them directly to my courses page, which is where we're running the competition. You can also choose here whether you want it to run on the news feed or on the right column of the Facebook page. You can uncheck either of those. And you can also see what it looks like on each, the right hand column and the news feed from this top menu here. So this is the main news feed one. And here's what it looks like on the right hand side column. Now scroll down to get to the good bit. This is the ads targeting. You should try and be as specific as possible in this targeting option because it means that the people who see your ads will be pleased to see your ads and they'll be more likely to click. It also means that you won't be spending so much money and that every penny you do spend will count. As you can see, the first option is to target your ad to a location. So initially I've gone for the country and I've gone for Ireland, but I also want to target the United Kingdom. Next, I've got to choose an age group. Now, the people that will be signing up for the We Teach Social courses, I would hope they're going to be over 21. You can see my audience is getting smaller each time that I choose one of these. Next, I can choose whether there's a specific gender I want to target. Now you can choose to target people with specific interests. They've made this far more user-friendly recently. For example, I can choose to target business people who have an interest in social media marketing. I click on here, scroll down, And again, if I choose the drop down menu under online, and we can see there's an option there for social media marketing. If I click the plus there, now I'm targeting business industry that are interested in social media marketing. And you can see down on the right hand side, 
my target market has gone down again to 186,000. Here I can choose who I want to target via connection. So are they already connected to my Facebook page? Maybe if I was marketing something like trying to sell a course, I would choose that option. But at the moment, I'm trying to increase the number of people that like my Facebook page, and I'm sending them to a fan-gated page. So I'm going to go for people who aren't connected to WeTeachSocial already. You can choose from somebody's sexuality, their relationship status, the language that they speak, their education, or even where they work. And finally, again, this is more categories. So this is more specifics on somebody's interests. And I can actually choose from here, small business owners. So that's what I'm going to be looking for. So I'll find that under job status and small business owners. Now I'm down to 32,000 people. So I'm really getting there. Now we come into the pricing. The first thing I want to change here is I want to make this very specific so that when I look at my ads in the future, I'll know which advert this is. So Facebook have decided what they're going to call it. I'm going to make it a little bit different and call it January 2014 competition. You can put in more information here. So if you're doing a number of ads targeting very specific areas, you could actually put in who you're targeting here. So I could put in SME owners. Next, you can set your budget. Now you can either set this as a daily budget or a lifetime budget. Now I always go for the lifetime budget because I'm terrible at remembering to switch my ads off and I've quite often gone over budget. So for that reason, I'd go in here and you can set your own budget. So if I'm thinking of spending say 10 euro a day for a week, that's 70 euros. So I'd put in 70 euros my budget. And then here I need to put in my start and end date. So I'm going to set it to start in a couple of days time. So say the 8th of January and end a week later, so on the 14th of January. Now before I place my order, I just want to review it to make sure everything is satisfactory. And if I'm happy with that, I can place the order. Now don't worry if you get anything wrong in your advert, you can go back in and edit it again within your ads manager at a later stage. It can take up to 24 hours for Facebook to approve your advert, so it's a good idea if you want to create one to create it a couple of days ahead of when you actually want to start it running.